Um, hello guys. Today I'm going to be reconstructing my 19.61 3x3 blindfolded single that I got unofficially. It's my first sub-20, which is pretty special. Um, it was a very nice scramble, had very nice elves, and overall, you know, I'm really happy with it. I didn't crack under pressure, so yeah. I used one, like, really bad elg, but the rest were, yeah, the, the rest were fully optimal, I th as far as I know. But I used one bad elg, but I'll get to that. Okay, so this is a scramble, and I'm pretty sure I had disorientation, and I used WCA. So right when I lift the cover, I just notice this big block, and so, you know, I just, like, I kind of know that the edge memo is not going to be too long. So if I'm done at, like, 8 or 10, I'm just going to put on the blindfold because I know that, like, these two edges are solved. So there's not going to be, like, some two-flip hiding if there's eight edges done. That's just experience. Like, when I see this block, I instantly know, like, don't try and look for another two-cycle or two a two-swap because these are solved. Um, that's just experience. But anyway, so I flip, I, you know, flip, and I look right here. So we have, this goes to there, K, U, D, S, J, N. And um, a cool little three-blind trick for when you're really fast is if you end on your buffer sticker, so the white part, then you know that there's no twists or that there's a two twist. But I just did six targets. So right when you hit there, you know, like, there's no twists. And I feel like it's a little more helpful for edges, maybe. Like, but yeah. So anyway, JN. So K-U-D-S-J-N. I just remembered kudos, John. Like, that's all I remembered because it was very easy. So I just remembered, like, words in that case. So, you know, like, started, you know, kudos, John. And then I went straight to edges. That's all I did for corners. And so for corners, I have J, B, F, U, M, R, D, S, N, Y. So, um, U, F to R, B to U, R is just... So very, very easy com. Next is UF to FR to DB. That's another very easy com. It's just. So then I have uh, UF to BU to LF. And that's another very easy com. So, you know, I'm just getting very, very nice comms. And then another very nice com, UF to UL to LD is just that very quick eight mover. And then this is the only edge comm that's like not too nice, but it's still pretty good, which is UF to BL to um, LU. And it goes like this. You kind of have to do a regrip. Well, you don't have to, I'm just bad. You should do it like this, but I regripped and did this. And that finishes edges. So now I just have three corner elks. And um, all the elks I used were optimal up to this point. And this is the one elk that I used that's very, very bad. But I was, like, really nervous at this point because I knew that this could be really, really good. Like, if I get this, this is going to be good. So I did a B prime setup to, like, this 8 mover. So don't do that, please. That's really, 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 really bad. But I just did it because I wanted a good solve. So UFR to UFL to here is just a, you know, very simple eight mover, right? And I actually canceled because the next com starts from here. So, you know, it was like... But then I kind of had to regrip, so I don't really know if that was worth it. But regrip and then this elg. Done. So I'll kind of show you what it would have looked like as fast as I can do it. So, you know, like...
that was bad. It was a lot better in the fold. But, um, yeah, that's all I did. Like, it was very lucky, obviously. That was a nice scramble. But, um, thanks for watching.